Hi, welcome back to Derek Does. Today, we're gonna do these. So you're saying, those are dress shoes. Yes, they are, but they're kind of special dress shoes. For a vintage person that's into, when I say vintage person, a person that's into vintage, is into vintage things. Uh, and if you're a guy, eventually you're gonna have to dress up. And eventually you're gonna need better shoes than just a pair of work boots because it's just not gonna go with the suit. So you get yourself a pair of dress shoes. Now these dress shoes are both what they would refer to as a V cleat. V as the letter and then cleat. A V cleat has a V, if you notice right here, a V there, and on this pair, it's easier to see. There's a cleat, and it's a V shape, right like that, and it fits on the heel. And the purpose of that is that when you're walking, that piece of metal is going to protect your sole, or your heel, hitting the ground and not wearing away as fast, because that's the thing about dress shoes is they're a lot like work boots where you can restore them with a new, they'll put in the new bottom corking and then the new leather. Uh, you can get shoes totally redone. As long as the tops are nice, you can have them re-sewn over and over and over again. So these are two pairs that I have. This is my personal pair. Uh, this pair I just picked up. Let me show you some of the differences between the two, but they're both still V-cleat shoes. So as you can see, they're, they're totally different style of shoes. This is a, a long wing, wing tip because it's got the wing tip here and it's a long one because it comes back instead of coming down here. And these are, uh, what they, butchers, I think they call them, uh, which is just an Oxford. There's no fancy toe. There's no fancy uh, leather sewn onto it. It's just a nice pair of shoes and this is a little fancier. Uh, it just depends. Now, the difference between the two shoes are the brands. This is a pair of Floorshime shoes. This one, I can't quite make out anymore. Um, I don't know, can, can you tell? I can't really read it anymore. I'm not sure what brand these are. They're both high-end shoes. This is a higher-end shoe because, uh, I'll show you the, the Floorshimes here. This is, a lot of times when people talk about V-cleats, they're talking about floor shimes, but there were a lot of other manufacturers that did very similar things. This is particularly the Cadillac of dress shoes, is the floor shime Imperial in the Shell Cordovan. Uh, and it's just an amazingly beautiful pair of shoes, uh, if you're into shoes. Um, Obviously, if you're watching this, you've probably heard of Shell Cordovan and you know how wonderful this leather is. It's from the horse's uh, rear end of just a certain area uh, and it just, it's just amazing for shoes. The inside, as you can see, this one still is quite readable. This pair I recently picked up and they're currently on eBay. Um, they're my, not my size, it's a 9D and I'm like an 11, 11 and a half, uh, and so I cannot wear these. Otherwise, I would not have these on eBay because they're just phenomenal. Uh, if you notice here on the Floorsheim Imperials, this pair is actually from uh, per, post 1973, 73 or above, because the V cleat is actually, there's a piece of leather, it's actually cut into the heel instead of, uh, if it's before 1973, the V cleat actually comes up to the edge and you don't have a little leather seam there. Uh, and if you notice on this pair, because it is a higher end shoe, they did two rows of nails on this. Plus you have three here and two here on the actual sole holding this shoe together. So it is just a phenomenally made pair of shoes. This other pair that's, that I currently have, if you notice, they just did one row around three and there's none here on the actual sole. It's still not gonna fall apart. It's a fantastic pair of shoes. I like them, I've worn them many times uh, to events and that sort of thing. I don't know if I'd wear them every day. Um, just as a shoe, I think a work boot is much more comfortable. 
Uh, but if I had to wear a shoe like that, I would wear those for sure. Uh, but again, the floor shine is kind of like the king. This is the one everyone kind of wants is this, particularly if this was in a long wing like that, that is like the ultimate ultimate, but these are still quite nice. And they're actually, they're not as common as, as these because most men back in the day would, especially if you were a, a suit wearing guy every day, you would want a fancier pair of shoes where this is more of a blazer uh, and a pair of dress pant type of thing. It's not really a suit shoe, or at least I wouldn't consider it that. I would always go with the uh, heavier duty shoe. That's just how I am, but everyone's different. Um, the main thing, uh, again, to look for, obviously you want a leather sole and a leather heel, but that, that is a V cleat. So now you know when people talk about vintage shoes and they say, oh, it's a V cleat, it's a V cleat. You know what to look for. Now, if you find a pair of floor shimes that are nice and they look this color and they look really nice and they just have a rubber sole, they're not as desirable. They're still a great shoe to a vintage person. Now, maybe to someone who doesn't care, it is a desirable shoe, but if you're to a vintage person, that's what you want to look for. If you notice also, floor shime, I'm not sure if this pair did it. Yeah, this pair did it too. They do a little cut, oh, it's just a little feature. They cut a little bit of the, the heel right there. Uh, this pair has the same thing. Just so that when you're climbing stairs, you don't hit that and ding it up. So there you have it. These are the shoes you want to look for when you're looking for a V cleat. If you're uh, hitting a, an estate sale or a thrift store, take a look through the shoes because every once in a while, you're going to find a pair that's then donated because someone sees this as just an old pair of shoes and they don't realize Kind of the rarity of finding it and also the value of these things because sometimes these things can go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, so look for the v cleat and now you know if you like this sort of uh content please subscribe comment like dislike if you don't like it uh rather you not but uh i'm gonna have more of this stuff uh but i thought you guys might like to know what a v cleat is and now i've shown you go find yourself some see you next time